Welcome back to the channel everybody and if you're new here welcome. We built this potato bed almost a month ago now and we are seeing some great success with it. If you can see through the window you can see there's a lot of growth on those potatoes in there. About one month's worth of growth just shy of a month so we've got about a month or a little over a month left on these two month potatoes before we should potentially be able to harvest. So with all the cold weather rolling in we've been experimenting with a whole bunch of free recycled windows we've picked up off the side of the road to build a bunch of little different contraptions to fit the size of the plant. These have grown exponentially faster once I built up the southern wall of this. These bags physically feel warm. We're gonna take some temps on these also. And I put these windows over. So both of those together really, really sank a lot of heat in. And I'm quite surprised at how well this worked for just being a whole bunch of free and recycled material with some sandbags. We've made a few observations on the bed itself and growing potatoes in here and the little cold frame. So we wanted to share everything that we're finding and observing with everybody today. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to the channel because that's pretty much all we do here. We're getting all our stuff ready for winter and doing a whole bunch of free and cheap heating experiments to be as self-sufficient as we can. And the gist of this one is that it was basically a simple solar experiment. So we're gonna check out all this and check out the observations here. So simply put, by building up more sandbags, we're putting a whole lot more protection and heat retention into this bed here. Just those walls alone are holding a lot of heat. So we're gonna go ahead and check the temps out real fast. We've got 77 on the bag, 75, 76. So pretty well all around. Let's check the soil temps inside. It's in about 72, 71, 72 ish. And then soil temps outside, directly outside, 66, 67, stone, 68, 69. So the temperatures inside and around this entire thing are warmer than the rest of the surrounding greenhouse. These bags are warm to the touch. When I touch the ground, it feels cool. When I touch the bags, they feel warm physically. There is a five to 10 degree difference on them. So that is a major factor in holding heat and holding heat inside a perimeter. Everything in the perimeter of this little potato bed is probably going to stay between 50 and 60 degrees all night long. So I put my little thermometer in there last night and it stayed 50 degrees. We had 32 overnight. It's about 33, 34 outside at the moment. We're sitting 65 in the greenhouse and everything in here is actually warmer than the actual greenhouse itself just because we have all of the windows to amplify the heat and we've got these sandbags they actually store and hold a lot more energy in that soil so the first thing i want to state is that we were using sun that was coming through clouds today yesterday we had a fully sunny day and i made the observations and that's what made me want to make this video in general i wanted to film this yesterday when it was a little bit warmer and a little bit sunnier so we got today is a nice cloudy day but we actually had a lot of differences so you can see the difference between all of the different mediums and how everything works together and these little cold frames are awesome we're really going to cycle this cold frame around we're going to use it to start and use it for heat and stuff like that we're going to pump heat into it and do a lot of little experiments with all five or six of these little windows i've got the extra one over here i didn't want to lose any of this paint off into my soil so i'm trying to keep it as clean as possible if you've got little pieces and shards of paint falling off you might want to brush that off or clean it up before you bring it into the greenhouse just as an fyi so let's just check this out real quick we can take a look inside the bed so we've got lots of onions sprouting up multiple potatoes you can see little tiny potato shoots coming up all over so for everybody who is new to the channel this was just a little experiment all of these sandbags the potatoes this was just an experiment we wanted to use our hoops and stuff just like the rest of the greenhouse. We are going to use hoops over this, but, but we ended up having all these free windows on hand. I've used them multiple different ways and we're going to continue to use them, but they are a very handy tool to be able to set up in a situation like this when I want to protect those potatoes. We're almost to the harvest, we're halfway there. So we want to keep these as protected as we can until we get our hoops up this far down. And we're going to be experimenting with heating this tank up and trying to keep a lot of heat and all the cold stayed off from our door. This is the cold this end of the greenhouse. Everything's worked pretty darn well in here and I'm quite impressed. And as you can see, it's not fully sealed. There's a whole lot of gaps, but for the most part, it keeps it a 
lot warmer in there and it's allowing those plants to really, really boom. So that was pretty much it today. I really just wanted to come out and share this little grow with everybody and how I'm doing everything and some observations on a cold day when we don't have a whole lot of solar activity. So I wanted to share the observations on this with everybody, the heat and the difference in temperatures and how well it's actually working. So these potatoes are doing their thing in here and hopefully we can get ourselves a harvest by the first week of December. So we're looking good. We've got our compost heater. We've got all of our wood chips that just got dropped out there the other day. So looking darn good nice cloudy day we're just about to start compost heating our greenhouse so we're going to have extra heat for all of this so they're not just going to be on their own with a little bit of geothermal blow and we're going to have some active heat and a ton of heating experiments as we're getting everything lined up you can see all the hoops coming up and we're going to get all the polys put over got all the tomatoes out we've got a whole bunch of a slew of crops over there we just planted tons and tons of seeds and we're hoping for good success this winter and we're hoping to share everything along the way so so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and I will see everybody next time.